This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. Emergency crews in North Texas have been working to rescue two men apparently overcome by fumes while working on a sewer line. The Associated Press reports Fairview spokesman John Goodwin says a third worker called for help shortly after 8.30 a.m. Thursday. Rescue personnel at the scene had a ladder and other equipment to try to reach the two men. Firefighters strapped on oxygen and other protective gear to try to reach the men. The North Texas Municipal Water District says the accident involved two contract workers. Goodwin told the Associated Press that apparently one worker went down through a manhole, was overcome by fumes, and a second worker went in to try to help the first man. Fairview is a town of about 6,400 located 25 miles northeast of Dallas. From KHOU.com, a sad reminder of the times. For a San Antonio widow, one of the last and most memorable items she had for her husband was the Medal of Honor he earned. But now she says that that treasured memento has been stolen. Marie Rocco said she went to visit the gravesite of her husband, Louis Richard Rocco, on Monday since it was the anniversary of his death. Lewis passed away on Halloween in 2002. Rocco said when she returned home, she found her house torn apart and clearly burglarized. While several electronic items were stolen, she said the biggest loss was her late husband's Medal of Honor, which was awarded to him in 1974. Lewis Rocco was an Army combat medic during the Vietnam War. Richard earned that medal, Marie Rocco said. He did more for his community after he earned the medal, probably for the same time of people. He worked for homeless. He worked for kids at risk. He worked with a lot of drug addicts. She said this is actually the second time her home has been burglarized in two weeks. A police report has been filed for each incident, but so far no arrests have been made. Experts say the lingering Texas drought may be affecting the migration of monarch butterflies heading south for the winter. Biologist Michael Warner with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department says he's seen probably only four monarchs in the past three weeks. Researchers hope to get a better count on the monarchs once they arrive at their winter grounds in Mexico in a few weeks. The Fort Worth Star-Telegram reported Wednesday that the drought has dramatically reduced the main food source for monarch butterflies. The insects need the nectar from blooming plants. Entomologist Mike Quinn with the Texas Monarch Watch says he drove through the hill country last month and was disappointed in how many dead plants and how few butterflies he saw. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.